collectively and through professional organizations need to articulate values, maintain integrity of the profession, and integrate the principles of social justice. So after today, you must keep in mind that as a nurse or a nursing student, you are simultaneously invited to and intruding yourself into the physical space and the lives of others. So this is an impressive responsibility not to be underestimated. So today, we celebrate your journey. I'm not going to stay heavy, but those things we do need to say, okay? So we celebrate your journey becoming an FPB nurse. Dr. Kijowski explained to you that nurses have rituals. Nurses also have stories. I would like to tell you that, a story from a faculty member of mine. So when I was entering, you needed to get out into nature. You needed to go outside and breathe the air. You needed to take a walk. Do you guys exercise? Do you have your sports? Okay, you can't give those up when you come to school. She said, you've got to keep doing your sports. If you run, you should run. If you, um, if you dance, you should dance. And, and you should continue to do the things that give you satisfaction. So I listened to her story. She told us, go to, the, go to the art museum, go listen to music. So I went to the National Gallery. Has anybody ever been to the National Gallery in Washington, D.C.? So there was, let me see if I can go back. Oh, I can't go back. Sorry, guys. Okay. I went to the National Gallery of Art, and there was a Da Vinci exhibit. And so some of you may know Da Vinci. He's the guy that painted the Sistine Chapel. He made the sculpture of David that used to scandalize you when you were a child because it had no clothes on, um, right? So he did this amazing work. And much of his work is on, this, on the chapel, this, uh, on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Now, please don't be offended. I don't mean to tell you a story about Catholicism. That, that isn't my intent. It, I want to tell you a story about a master, all right? So he did all this work on the Sistine Chapel, laying on his back, dripping paint into his eyes, which caused him to go blind later on in life. But he did this work. Oh, I'm walking through through the things, yeah, and in one corner, there is behind some, oh, stop it, <laughs> behind this plexiglass frame, there is this scrap of paper, it's a scrap, it's in glass, about, about this big, has anybody ever painted, is anybody here an artist, do you know what gesso is, yeah, there's a, okay. so it's, like medieval, it's like medieval whiteout, right? It's like, like uh, you would you would prime the paint, the canvas, and then you would paint over it. So there was this one piece of paper in this museum, and on it was this sketch on the bottom that had this isn't exactly it, but this is close. That had um, what did you think of that man when he spoke? Awesome. Was he not, not awesome? He was amazing. And when he looked at you, what did you see in his face? I thought he was having a great time. I looked at him, and he was just like smiling, taking it all in, right? He did not write that book in one draft. That was years of writing and rewriting. And he, he sat there and took that day in, and he smiled. And I want you to sit there and take this day in and every day forward in the masterpiece that's going to be your career as a nurse, I want you to smile at that and take it in, because drinking it in is really great. And so that's why we're here today. So a couple things for you to remember. Work hard, of course, you knew that. Um, study hard, of course, you knew that. We really do want you to take time and drink in the life around you. You came here. You didn't come to a community college. You came to... Case Western Reserve University, to be part of a large academic community. So you want to find ways to go bowling or go have Mitchell's ice cream, right? Do the things that, um, that you love. Do the things that are Cleveland. There's, they, you know they have discount seats to the Deference Hall so you can go hear the, the, the symphony. It's amazing. You, you, you go to the farmer's market if you haven't found it yet. You, by the way, this is a double dipper because we want you to eat 
well because you're going to be tired and we don't want you to get sick, right? So on this journey that you've chosen to take with us, trust us. Let us help you. Tell us when you need help. Help each other out and drink it all in. That's really what I'd like to say to you. How's that? for those thoughtful words. My name is Jesse Ponsky. I'm the Assistant Director of the BSN Program. And I'm pleased today to present you with your step as the Assistant Director of the BSN Program. And I'm pleased today to present you with your stethoscope and pin of the BSN Program. And I'm pleased today to present you with your stethoscope. Uh -oh. So now I would like to welcome Dr. Amy Vita, the director of the BSN program. She will lead us all in the Nightingale Pledge.
I solemnly promise before all present to live my life honorably and morally and to practice my nursing profession faithfully. I will never intentionally harm anyone in my care and will work hard to practice nursing safely. I will never take or knowingly administer any harmful drug or therapy. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession. By active engagement and commitment to caring, continuing education, and mentorship of new nurses and nursing students. I will keep all health and personal information of patients and families confidential as I practice my calling. And I will work collaboratively and respectfully with, with all health care providers Hey guys, one second, um, just before you guys head to Corner Alley. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Shannon Orlowski. I'm VP of Student Development in USNA. Um, I just wanted to give out a quick, quick reminder. Um, hopefully you guys all got my email and got a mentor. Um, if you did not get a mentor assigned to you for some reason or did not get an email from me, please find me after this. I'll be going over to Corner Alley with you guys or contact me, email me, um, and also in the form, in the email I sent, there's a form um, letting me know, like it's an RSVP to the meet and greet on September 30th in the first floor lounge where you can meet with your mentor for the first time at 12.40. Please RSVP to that so I know how much food to get. Thank you. <laughs> um, thanks, Shannon. We're really excited about giving you all a mentor that that's really important that the school feels like that's a good support for you and um, fun too. So just to um, facilitate us going into the corner alley, um, we have some USNA students that have signs with um, the color coordinating with not every color, but just general, your new color of your stethoscope. So kind of look for them out there and that'll be kind of your group to just walk up the street and get to corner alleys. So thank you all for coming. Congratulations.